Welcome to a special machine tutorial. I'm your host Grits and Gravy. In this video, I'm going to break down patterns, scenes, and just the whole overall machine workflow. So let's dive straight into it. So my goal for this video is to explain scenes and patterns so that they don't slow you down and stop you from making beats or enjoy using machine. So I hope that this video will be helpful. So the first thing that we need to make sure before we go any further is we need to lock our modes. And what I mean is when you press scene and pattern, you want it to stay on this screen. When you're holding down scene up here at the top, press the first button and now it's locked. So when I press on scene, I don't have to hold it down. Also do the same for pattern. Press this first button. And so now we switch back and forth. Okay, so let's take a look at machine real quick. Basically a pattern is going to be this bottom half of your screen. So now when you press pattern, the pads represent 16 patterns. Up here on the right side, those 16 patterns are toggled with bank one and by default you're already in bank one if you fill up the first 16 patterns it's going to automatically go to bank two okay so let's switch back to the big view um, for a second so now that we understand patterns and that a group of 16 patterns resides in a bank now when you go to scenes basically your scene is going to be a collection of patterns so now that we know the difference between patterns and scenes there's a couple things that I want to point out real quick is that you can't mix patterns with different groups okay so your groups are over here so group A is for my kick drum and group B is for my snare so if I record in a pattern with my claps I can't take that pattern and then move it to group A. So this is why I have it set up in this particular way. I would recommend setting it up similar to this. So for example, if you're not finger drumming or doing like a live set, I recommend putting one sound per group. The less sounds you have in a group, the easier it's going to be to arrange it and just to keep everything organized. So understand that you have your 16 sounds and they're all in one group um, but if you're just creating beats then i would suggest creating a template that you load up so like for example there's 16 um, drum and bass sounds in this group i use the one that i want for this particular project and then i just erase the others so for this beat this is the one that i used you can hold shift erase and then just tap the pad and just get rid of what you don't need so now when i flip between my groups i just have that one sound to worry about okay so just to recap we have our patterns then we have our scenes if i click on pad number two that's going to represent scene two so i'm not going to arrange this whole beat but basically what you would do after you have your patterns what you want to do to duplicate your scene, press the duplicate button, press scene one, it's going to light up and then just tap the second pad and that creates a duplicate that you can now start to arrange your beat. So one thing you need to make sure you need to press it again to get out of that mode so that you're not accidentally duplicating things. Okay. So now when we press scene, now we have scene one, and scene two. For example, if I wanted to take out the kick drum on scene two, you press pattern. My kick drum is on group A. Once I press pattern, go up to the top left right here, the second button, and you just remove. So I guess we could take out the clap as well. So now I press group B, which is my clap, press pattern press remove. So now the first scene is going to play the whole beat 
and then it's going to go into the second scene and it's going to play everything except the kick and the clap which we just removed so now real quick that we created a second scene i want to add it to my project so you press scene go up to the top the third button from the left is a pinned you want to press a pinned and now you just tap your second scene so now we've added it basically to our timeline so now we can hold shift and press arrange to go back to the original um, arranger view and so now we have two scenes basically on our timeline so now I'm gonna play this beat and you can see that the first scene is the full loop and then the second scene we remove the kick drum and the clap That's going to do it for understanding patterns and scenes. I hope this video was helpful. I highly recommend checking out my other video because I go in depth and actually arrange a beat from start to finish. If you click in the right hand corner up here, I'll link to that video and you can watch me arrange a beat. It also has some more tips and tricks also in that video and it's way more in depth than this one is. So once again, my name is Grits and Gravy. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please leave your comments below and your questions and I'll be happy to answer them. I'll catch you in the next video. All right, later.